hello you guys welcome back to my channel today is a wednesday i think this says that my battery is depleted is it actually no my battery is dying so i gotta be quick oh, so cute so um last night i went i received this so cute this pink i love i mean i love all shades of pink but this one right now i'm really loving especially for like my phone case and stuff um Finally, finally, finally changed my tempered glass. The other day I was complaining that um my tempered glass was broken and it looked so bad. There was there was like a film on the camera because it fell and it broke like right where the camera was. And so every time you open it to take a picture with obviously the front camera it just would look so terrible because you're able to see like the little line and like a smear on it like when you you know anyway me and i just did breakfast it's currently 11 2 a.m let's start to the morning okay so i made some iced coffee and um she has some apple juice here we had i had a like a breakfast sandwich with like chicken patty uh an egg i finally use an almond butter that i had bought quite some time now i think i forgot that i had it in the fridge and I put that on there too with um, some plantains on the side. Mia basically had the same thing, just not in the form of a sandwich. Because I don't know that she understands the concept of like holding a sandwich together and eating it like that yet. She probably would. But um, I just gave her all of the things separate except for the chicken patty. It's something about um, the chicken patty that I don't feel comfortable giving her. I don't really know. <laughs> But um, I'm not saying I haven't given her like a bite or so when, when I'm having it, but I'm I'm not going to serve her like a block of the chicken patty, no. Honey, <laughs> I remember when she couldn't hold this cup. No, she's holding on to it and like drinking her juice on her own. Dangerous because she knows how to squeeze things to make it come out because she squeezes the box of the apple juice all the time and it like all of it is everywhere and everything. So yeah, we just had breakfast. Um... With small bits of everything left i also gave her some cherries we were both eating the cherries she really likes cherries right now she likes cherries she likes oranges she likes avocado she loves um these plums you know honestly she really loves fruits in general she's not very picky and she's definitely not very picky with food at all either thank you honey she eats really good it's not hard to feed her at all and i feel like in this economy that's a good thing <clears throat> hi are you okay i have to do her hair earlier when we were in bed my mom called and my mom was like do you not want to do your hair because my mom knows that if one thing her hair is always going to be done so i was telling her that i washed it last night but i want to do her hair because if you guys have been around for a while i've always talked about the fact that i feel like girls hair should always look presentable so i always try to make sure that her hair is always done even her older sister whether it be sending money to make sure that her hair is always done and done nicely especially because she's in high school and i feel like one well, high school is very brutal yeah. Yeah. and while they want to try yeah. and do their hair themselves sometimes yeah. it's not presentable so i normally pay to get it braided every two weeks and stuff and she chooses the braided hairstyle that she wants so yeah but I make sure their hair looks presentable for me as a hair the back we're waiting on the back to like catch up to the rest of it but I try to keep her in like little braids as well to kind of minimize the amount of times I'm going in weekly and like doing her hair and also if I just have her hair and like the little ponytails it does not last it doesn't take anything for her to start looking wild the other day I came home and I'm making breakfast and <laughs> I don't I think the one the one the other one for this with the salt the salt was like stuck in the bottom and I'm clinking it I think I used something or I like knocked it on the counter but on the dishcloth and it just broke literally ruined my morning so I need to replace that one because now I just have the salt container just you know on there but yeah I'm, I'm right now last night I did another 
my second math exam honestly was it terrible no not exactly so um i got 80 percent, which i'm very excited about because i feel like i'm not that great at math but i feel like i'm, I'm at least understanding it a little bit so now that we're done with breakfast i'm gonna go in the living room i'm gonna try to do mia's hair while i turn miss rachel yeah. on because that's the only way she's gonna stay focused yeah. and then i'm going to try to do some homework when I'm done. I'm trying to be very proactive about like going through and doing the homework and so far it's not bad but I think I have maybe a month left in the math class. So I wanna be ahead and not behind or like just right where we are with everything and like not behind. <clears throat> so that's the plan. We're also trying to stay hydrated because these days are so very hot and also I'm drinking that iced coffee so you know. Yeah. I should have that new nanny coming tonight too because I do work tonight. Um yesterday I met her and we had you know a really good conversation, a really good introductory conversation. It was pretty decent. She seems pretty cool. Oh my god, now that I'm I'm gonna take my amlodipine, I just remember that I have to go to that doctor's office because I tried texting a refill on Walgreens for them to refill the prescription and they said they're trying to contact the provider or whatever. Three six nine ten i have ten days worth left maybe about 15 days but like i'm so annoyed so i have to go out there and um have them prescribe it but the only thing is that you go out there they want to triage you every three months so that they have something to charge your insurance about and i don't really care because i have really good insurance and i don't pay a copay so like i will go but it's just when i don't want to leave the house and i have to go it's not really the most convenient so me and i are gonna do that today i think i'm gonna just strap her on me that just seems the easiest i don't really know i don't feel like i want to have to i mean also i wouldn't have to pack a bag or anything because we're literally just going right there i'll bring a snack i should probably go right now because huh? in the morning time it might not be that full I'm gonna do her hair because I'm not taking her on the road with her hair looking like this. And then I think we'll go. And when I come back, I'll do homework and stuff like that. And I'm gonna clean this kitchen up at some point, but I think I have to do her hair first while she's in this high chair. <laughs> now that I'm turning the camera back on, I'm just remembering that it needs to be charged. So when I'm done, I'm gonna charge it. But I'm just coming from my doctor's office and of course the day when i go there my annual is due the day after so i'm like can we just do it today but you know for insurance purposes you can't you could do it a day after but you can't do it a day before so she said to just come back next week so next week i'm going to go back and do my annual because that's one thing that i make sure that i follow up with okay but um also my blood pressure looks really really good it's in the 130s and that makes sense because now I don't ha even if I don't take um the amlodipine then I'm completely fine sometimes I haven't taken it for days but I do like to have it because sometimes when I consume too much sodium then I feel like um a headache that is obviously blood pressure related so um everything is looking great I wanted to do my hair but also I'm waiting on a brush that I bought on Amazon to come in the mail hi honey we're gonna do some milk and we're gonna take a nap okay I bought this coarse brush now I'm wondering if it's like teeny tiny Come here. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. It says it's out for delivery. But I'm wondering if the brush is um like a darn miniature brush. I mean, if it is miniature, it's not the worst thing in the world, you know? Oh, actually, it might not be. Thank God for these little videos on Amazon of, like, the products. That when I went to the doctor's office a while ago, the ladies were like, oh my gosh, she's so big. Because obviously, Mia and I have been going there since she was like a teeny tiny booba. Man's just talking about his damn waves. I don't want to see nothing about no waves. I want to see the size of the brush. This one specifically. Let's go to the reviews. He didn't have to do a shit. Oh, I think it might be a big enough brush. It's not like teeny tiny. And it definitely is coarse. I wanted a coarse one for my hair. And normally the coarse brushes are, are like men brushes. But because my hair is so dense, I think a coarser brush works out better. Even like the little edge brushes, the coarser the better. Okay, 
my love. All right, it's Mia's nap time, so we're going to crank up the air conditioner, give her her little bottle of milk, because she, she she needs her milk to go to sleep, and we're going to take a nap, but we're also going to charge the camera. I still have not done any homework yet. She really sleep. When we wake up, we'll do some homework, because she didn't take a nap at 10, because, you know, she woke up later or whatever, so we're going to do a nap right now. We might have to do one more later, depending on how long this one is, because right now it's 1.38, basically 2 p.m. We're going to take a nap, and we're going to see how the day plays out.